hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. If it's not Faith's body. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. Snow? What is it? Are... are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened... I'll be fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible, in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? I'll figure this out. Don't worry. And what am I supposed to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know. I can handle the kid. Okay. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I. I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Pity these can't solve murders. Well, that's appropriate. The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me, well, who knows? I hope you can find what you're looking for. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Snow's perfume.
Beauty and Beast. Always putting on a show for each other. <sighs> I will get to the bottom of this. Seems like not much has changed between me and Woody. I meant what I said, Snow. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. That's enough. Uh, Mira, finish! Cancel! No. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. Right, Bigby? What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'll catch you on the shitter. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, DJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Take your time. The lady... fell in. But... but she didn't have her head on! I thought... I thought she was gonna pull me down, too! <laughs> Cause, cause she had rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying. I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. <laughs> yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! It's dangerous out there. If someone saw you... You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. 
And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. <laughs> okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. Yeah, thanks. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. 